the outset, let me say how pleased I am, how happy I am to see all of you here. Not just because it's a bit of a homecoming for me, but because uh, the room remains full. Uh, I, re I recall a story when I was running for senator when there would be many speakers and slowly the crowd would thin out. And uh, I would ask the MC and say, no, no, you, you wait for your turn because those who have left means that they've already been convinced by the previous speakers. So uh, the fact that the room is full means that you remain unconvinced <laughs> and uh, you are giving me an opportunity to be with you here this morning. If you take a look at the last five years, there is soundness in our position that the principal premise of the campaign of the Alma to win is Ituloy. Let's continue. Why is that? Well, for the first time in generations, a current government has been able to put in place structural reforms, has been able to show investments in our people and in our infrastructure, and has been able to show the road ahead very clearly, not just the destination, but the means of how to get there. Suki na ako sa inyo. Kilala niyo ako from our four years of uh, DTI days, all the number of times that I've addressed you. You've always made me feel so at home. That's why I thought it important to speak before you and tell you what's on my mind, tell you what comes from my heart, and to tell you that we have a real chance, we have a real chance of keeping the momentum going, of being able to play in all of the other booster rockets that have taken years to prepare, and now are all set to continue the growth and development that we're experiencing today. Nobody is saying it's going to be easy. Nobody is saying that it has been easy. But if you look all around us at all of the first edition of Asian Tigers, what were the key elements for their success? Stable policy, continuity, until they got to where they were to be. For the first time in generations, we have a chance to put the Philippines back where it ought to be, where it was in the time of the 50s and 60s. The Philippines, which was looked up upon as the center of growth, development, and modernity in Asia, which is why international organizations put the Asian Development Bank here, the, Institute, the International Rice Research Institute here, the WHO in Asia here. We were looked up upon as the country that had progressed the most, that was most modern and modernizing, and that had the greatest potential. In 2016, we have the chance to reclaim that position. The Ang Matuil, Edition 1, has fixed the structural reforms, has given us a platform from which to spring, and the Ang Matuil, Edition 2, will take that leap into prosperity and development for our country.